presents. Yay! Yay! I love presents. They're my favorite part of Christmas.、Uh, well, now hold on, kids. I like presents too, but do you know the reason why we give presents at Christmas? All of these presents are a reminder of the greatest present ever given. It's the best gift of all. What is it? Please tell us. Well, it happened a long time ago, but this gift, the greatest gift, is still for you this Christmas. Many years ago, God spoke to us in the Bible about how He was going to send help to our world. Because of all the hurt and sadness and pain caused by sin, God was sending a Savior. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. God was sending a gift, His Son, to help us. At just the right time, God sent an angel to Mary to let her know that she would give birth to a savior. The angel said to Mary, "You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus." God also let Joseph know that the child born to Mary was his promised Emmanuel, which means God with us. Something very special was happening at that time in history. The greatest gift of all was coming. That is a king. He was called Caesar Augustus, king of the Roman Empire. What does he have to do with the greatest gift? Well, this king, Caesar Augustus, gave a command for everyone to go to their hometown so they could be counted. It's called a census. Mary was getting ready to have her very special baby, but she and Joseph had to travel. So Mary and Joseph made the journey to the small town of Bethlehem. This was another way God showed that He was keeping His promise. In the Bible, God told us the town in which Jesus the Savior would be born. But you, O Bethlehem, are only a small village in Judah. Yet a ruler of Israel will come from you, one whose origins are from the distant past. The town of Bethlehem was bustling with visitors. The streets were crowded. The marketplaces were filled. There were so many people in Bethlehem that Mary and Joseph couldn't even find a place to stay. Every innkeeper gave the same reply: "I'm sorry, there's no room in the inn." The time came for Jesus to be born. Do you remember who heard the news first? Wasn't it the shepherds? Yeah, the Bible tells it like this. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, "Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born unto you. He is Christ the Lord." Happy, weren't they? Didn't they sing a song? They sure did. They were overjoyed. The greatest gift, Jesus the Savior, caused all of heaven to have the very first Christmas party. The angels sang, "Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men." God's peace, goodwill, and glory had come to the earth so that all people could receive the gift of eternal life. In a humble stable, animals and shepherds surrounded Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. They were amazed at the special gift God gave them. The Savior was here, and Jesus was born. 
The shepherds were so thrilled that God cared about lowly people like them that they went and they told everybody about the greatest gift. God had come to help his people. Jesus was born so that he could give his life on a cross to forgive all of our sins. Look at the camel! Where did they come from? Well, those camels came from very far away. You see, the best gift of all, Jesus our Savior, was given for all people near and far. God put a bright star in the sky and led wise men from the east to Jesus. They came to worship him by giving him gifts fit for a king. Do you remember what those gifts were? They gave gold and frankincense and, and myrrh. Yeah, they gave those gifts for the same reason we give gifts. They were thankful for the greatest gift of all, a savior, Jesus.